Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2025 ski test. Got a Rosignol Super Black Ops for you today. Basically just a rebranded, rebadged, and re-graphicked uh, Black Ops 98. Uh, so this ski in its structural form has been around for a while now. And if you followed along Ski Essentials at all over the past however many years, you'll know that we're just big fans of 98 millimeter twin tips. Uh, and this ski kind of embodies all of the good things that we do enjoy about uh, that style of ski. Uh, this has been a favorite of ours for a long time in terms of just being able to handle kind of everything from park and pipe to bumps and trees to groomers to powder. Uh, not a whole lot of weaknesses on this ski and it definitely takes the fun factor up a, a, a pretty big notch, uh, mainly because of that twin tip shape. But we're still built with that poplar wood core, not a whole lot going on with this thing. A little bit thicker throughout, and then we get fiberglass laminates as well. Damp tech in the tips and tails, that rubberized layer that goes in the tips and tails really makes this thing feel uh, smooth and unchattery. Uh, you know, it's definitely got that smeary capability as well. Uh, but overall, it's kind of a very traditionally built ski with a, uh, a more modern shape and profile to it. So not a whole lot going on in terms of the build, but what we do see uh, kind of stand out is um, just in that shape and profile. Kind of a flatter overall profile. We get um, kind of comparisons with something like a Nordica Unleashed 98 a lot. And, you know, what, what are the differences between those two? And mainly it comes down to the profile. Um, you know, Unleash does have a metal layer, so there's some construction differences. But uh, this thing is just flatter overall, and that just makes it a little bit driftier and smearier and I think a little bit more amenable to, like, trees and bumps. Anything where you have to make shorter turns. I don't think it's as good of a carver on trail as something like an Unleashed 98, but it does just fine. Uh, but I think its highlights are in kind of more adventurous and creative aspects of the mountain. Uh, so we do have this 182 here, um, you know, more of that traditional flatter profile, not a ton of rocker or splay. And then, you know, for a twin tip, it's more of a free ride profile back here. Uh, a little bit straighter of a cut overall too. Uh, 19 meter turn radius in this 182 and on the scale here we're at just about that's not right just about 2,000 grams uh, 2,067 grams on the scale so what you're getting a little bit of that weight is from that thicker core profile um, that fiberglass laminate just great graphics um, one of the sharpest looking new skis out there for sure, kind of harnessing on the old 7SK graphic, but um, you got to make it all work together. So Super Black Ops does a great job at that. Uh, but yeah, nice blend of kind of a hefty, sturdy feel uh, with that swivelly nature. I think that a lot of skiers really kind of enjoy that type of feel and no limitations as to where you can put the ski or what you do with it. Uh, another one that comes to mind is a Black Crows Kamex, uh, and that thing does the same type of same type of things uh, in terms of being a grippy energetic ski that can also uh, surf and smear but doesn't have any real strengths or weaknesses really kind of hits everything down the middle uh, pretty darn squarely um, but yeah I mean it's just a great ski it's the proverbial part of if it's not broke don't fix it uh, that's why this thing has been successful uh, for a whole long time uh, one of our testers um, Matt McGinnis, uh, he wrote a whole lot. I kind of had to pare down a little bit, but he says, uh, from my brief experience, I think it'll prove to be capable on just about all terrain. On a deep day, I'd take out something wider, but otherwise the ski would be an excellent daily driver for me. Uh, soft snow, bumps, trees, groomers, even park jumps feel like they're in play with this ski. Uh, Matt is a free ride coach at Mad River, so he spends a lot of his time uh, in the Mad River Valley, both at Mad River Glen, Sugarbush Parks, uh, those areas there um, so for and, and that's really similar stuff to what we have here at Stowe uh, and those things really make this Super Black Ops become kind of a prime choice for a lot of skiers because uh, we do encounter a lot of those different terrain and snow condition 
aspects throughout uh, the day or the season. Uh, so make sure you check out this redesigned and rebranded uh, Rosignol Super Black Ops here at SkiEssentials.com, and we will see you out there on the hill. Bye.